What's happening YouTube? Kite Planet here, or Kite, if you're like that. Some people aren't like that, but I'm like that. DJ, cut the music up real quick while I get a drink and lock it. We'll enjoy that. Okay, so today I'm going to be attempting to recreate Shinra's pyrokinetic abilities into a nin ability. I love turning other abilities into nin abilities because it bases these wild powers that don't really have drawbacks for real. It bases them in reality because in nin you can't just have a power. You have to create it, cultivate that power so it fits whoever you are as a person, fits your capabilities, your strengths, your weaknesses, all of that. So nin, I don't think this is up for debate right now. I mean, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments, but I do think that nin objectively is the best power system in it. I don't even think it's close. People want to compare Curse Energy to Nin, but I don't think there's a lot of holes in Curse Energy that just don't make sense. Or sorcery, whatever you want to call it, Jujutsu sorcery. A lot of holes in there. It doesn't come close to Nin, in my opinion. But, okay, so first, let's establish what Shinra's abilities are. He is a third generation. Well, technically, he's a fourth generation power kinetic, but we're not we're not doing Shinro Bansho, man. <laughs> we're not doing that. We're not doing God Shinra. We're not doing fourth generation Shinra, uh, his pyrokinetic abilities where he can turn into damn photons and start moving around particles and light speed. We're not doing that. We're doing third generation Shinra where he can manipulate fire and emit it from his feet. Third generations mean you can emit it and control it. Second generation, you can just control it. So that makes sense. So he can emit flames from the bottom of his feet and control them. Okay, so that's his ability. Now, let's get started. We need to first establish what Nen Affinity Shinra will be or his ability falls under. Okay, so I think we can all agree that this has to fall under Transmuter. He's changing the properties of his aura. So we got to give him aura. His aura needs to change into flames. So I don't think... Any of the other categories, I mean, if you want to say specialist, but I don't think we need to go to specialist to do his ability. We can do this with transmutation or transmuter. So, all right. Now, can he emit flames from the bottom of his feet? That's what we need to ask ourselves. Can you do that in Hunter Hunter? Yes, because you have people like Kilua who can make lightning or not lightning, electricity, Phaeton, Pain Packer. So he can do that. Hisoka with bungee gum. Did you guys know that bungee gum has both the properties of rubber and gum? That's, that's pretty crazy to me. I didn't even think about it like that. But, okay, so he can emit flames. It is possible. That's what we first need to ask ourselves. It is possible for Shinra to emit and create flames with his aura. Because at first I thought we were going to have to give him like a tool or something. I thought he was going to be wearing like flint boots and click his heels to create a spark. And then he's going to be able to use the ability. But no, we don't need to go to that extent. He can create flames with his feet. All right, now, first they're gonna be weak because, you know, he doesn't understand in at all. So we gotta set some conditions and stuff like that. I was thinking, hey, can he actually create flames because Kilua can't, I was thinking Kilua has to charge himself, but Kilua doesn't charge himself because he can't create electricity on his own. He charges himself because he's a novice. He just learned his Hatsu in the grand scheme of things. He's 12 years old. He, he's not versed in Nin. He's not well versed in Nin. So he has to charge himself in order to keep up with the situations that they're in. The damn fighting these chimera ants who wield Nin, stronger Nin users. Like he has to charge himself for that. But he doesn't have to. He can create it on his own. And then Phaeton with Pain Packer, he doesn't, I mean, he transmutes pain, I guess, into flames. But, you know, he still creates the sun. The pain is just what makes it stronger. It doesn't actually create it. So yeah, we can create the flames. That that that's the main thing. All right. So, in Hunter Hunter, you have drawbacks to your abilities. So, creating flames from the bottom of your feet is going to burn the soles of your feet. It is fire. It is going to hurt you. This isn't Fire Force verse where they're genetically born with the ability to wield that stuff. You're just a regular human in Hunter Hunter. So, we need to figure out what applications of Nen can protect Shinra from his own ability. First, I was thinking Gyo, Ryu, Ken, but I think ultimately I settled on Ko. What is Ko? Ko is Ten, Zetsu, Ren, Hatsu, 
and Gyo all in one. And a lot of enhancers use Ko as their Nin ability, as their Hatsu. The only thing they do is add conditions to it and that makes it stronger. So if we use Tin to envelop, you know, to shroud ourselves in aura, Ren to increase the amount of aura, Zetsu to shut off all of the other aura nodes in your body except where you want to use the ability in his feet okay and then gyo is to concentrate it so it shuts off everywhere now we increase the amount in our feet gyo and hatsu is what emits it that's your act of expressing your nin that's what hatsu is but you need to have gyo to protect it you need to have that concentrated amount of aura on your feet to protect yourself from burning or protect Shimmer needs it to protect himself from burning the same way Genthru needed it to protect himself from blowing his hands off like he can't he his explosions normally they could be stronger but he has to divert some of that aura to himself so that he doesn't burn his hands same thing would happen would happen to Shinra he needs to protect himself so I think Ko is a good application of that now let's add some conditions because at first Shinra's ability is not going to be very strong. I think I've already said that. So we need to add some conditions to amp it up. I think we should look at his characteristics, his natural behavior and how he is. Shinra wants to be a hero. So let's add a condition where if he feels more heroic in a situation, like if he's fighting a truly evil guy, as opposed to like some riffraff who's just like messing with him, he's fighting someone who's evil up to no good, a true ne'er-do-well, then that should increase the amount of aura kind of like arthur boyle in fire force where if he feels more knightly the power of his pyrokinesis or his plasma or whatever is better like he he's stronger so we can do that in hunter hunter create a condition where if i feel heroic in my situation that will increase the amount of aura now that's a good condition let me know if you disagree or agree in the comments also if you're liking this so far hit the like button for me subscribe if you want to see more content so Let's add another condition. I think we know Shinra's weird quirk about the smile and how he, people call him a devil because of that smile. So if someone calls him a devil, remember we are wielding flames here. So flames don't need to just be big. They need to be hot. So if someone calls him a devil, let's add the condition that his flames get even hotter. Is that okay? Y'all agree with that? I like that condition where if we... If he's called a devil by someone, if someone looks at him and goes, God, he looks evil, he's a devil. You call yourself a hero, you're looking, you're looking evil. Then he should be able to have hotter flames. He'll be like, yeah, I'm going to show you a devil. And he burns even hotter. Maybe it changes the color of his flames. I'm not sure. Like, There's a lot of ways and avenues you could go with this. But I'm going to do the two conditions. If he feels heroic, that increases his aura amount and makes it stronger, makes it stronger Hatsu. And then if someone calls him a devil or anything to that effect, it will increase the heat of his flames. That way, we give Shinra two conditions that can amplify his power because propelling your body weight with flame propulsion, it takes a lot. And Hunter Hunter, that's a hard feat to do because Subone... You know, she has conjure where she conjures some sort of vehicle or whatever, but she cannot move on her own. She has to use the nin, the aura of someone else to propel her. So moving yourself with your nin is a very hard thing to do, in my opinion. I think just in general, if you've paid attention to the anime or the manga. So we need Shinra to have a lot of conditions and restrictions. So speaking of restrictions, let's amplify his power even more. We need to get the base started. Let's set a restriction for Shinra. You know how Karapika used restrictions. Karapika used restrictions to, you know, if I use my powers on this person, other than, if I use it on anyone other than the spiders, I'll die. So let's set one for Shinra. Not to that, like, extent. Well, maybe. Let's say he can only emit his Hatsu, his aura, not his aura in general, but his Hatsu, his ability, he can only use it through his feet. So he will not be able to conjure flames with his hands or anywhere else on his body but the soles of his feet. I think that should boost his power exponentially in my opinion. And maybe we could say like, yeah, he can't. If I do, I die or I'll lose my nin or something to that effect. Let's say, uh, I don't know. He'd have to self-impose some kind of rule. We'd have to really break down Shiva's character and, 
and what we could take away from him. But I think we could either do death or just take away Nin as a base. Let's not go too deep into it because this video will get to be like 40 minutes long. I know we're not that long, but it would get long if we started getting to his actual character. Let's say that if I use my Hatsu, if I use, well, now we have to name the ability. Let's just call it Devil's Footprint. I think that's a perfect Nin ability Hatsu name. It's called Devil's Footprint. Oh, that's sexy. I like that. I'm not gonna lie, that was clean. Pat myself on the back. Devil's Footprint, I know that already exists, but just that's a perfect name for it. So if he uses Devil's Footprint, which is the emission of flames and turn transmuting his aura into Hatsu anywhere but the soles of his feet or his feet in general, he'll lose his ability to wield Nin or he'll die. One of those two. You can pick which one you want. I think that is amazing. That will greatly increase his flame. I think by that point, he should be able to move and fly and do all types of things like that perfectly. Like he should be able to actually move similar to how he does in Fire Force now. I think that's added a great restriction. So now it should boost his Hatsu a lot. Let me know your thoughts on that. I like that. Now, with that, now that we say he can move like that, he's moving pretty fast now. People can't really keep up with him. He's probably the fastest person in the series. Unless there's someone who can teleport, like Nav. But Nav's teleportation is different. So let's say he's moving like that, moving fast. And you know he only, he only uses his legs. He doesn't really punch or do all that stuff for real. He kicks. In, in Hunter x Hunter, a show based in reality versus Fire Force, if you were to move that fast and then go kick somebody upside their head or in their body, you would probably shatter your leg. You would shatter your fibula, your tibia, maybe, maybe even fracture your femur. That's what would happen if you were moving that fast and you kick somebody like that. You would do a lot of damage to yourself. So now let's think of a, another application of Nen, another application of Nen that can protect Shinra from these situations. I think we should use Ryu. Ryu is like Gyo, but instead of going 100% or and zero, you can change your percentages. We've seen this. It was Bisky training Kilua and Gon in this, in this art. So maybe we could say 80%, 90% if you want to push it, can go into his feet. And, or no, not his feet, his legs, his lower half, his lower half in general. 80% of his aura goes into that, and then 10% goes into protecting the rest of his body. So now when he goes to kick, he'll have a solid foundation, he'll have structure to protect his bones and stuff, because otherwise he'd just shatter his legs all the time. Now, that's perfect, because you need pros and cons with your Nin ability. We have to have it based in reality. This is not these other shows this is not these other power systems where you can just have an ability and there's no drawback to your ability except for the fact that you might run out nah this is hunter hunter this is nin we got to think of some stuff so now that we have that so his setback will be his frail body using his ability most of the time will have 90 percent of his aura focus in his feet and legs, I guess. So that will leave his upper body and everything vulnerable to attacks. So I think that's a good trade-off. To have extreme power in my legs, my upper body's essentially weak. So if I get one punch from Nin, or not Nin, Aura, to my upper body while I'm using my Hatsu and all that stuff, while I'm in the middle of using my Hatsu, I could possibly, I could potentially die. This is Shinra's mindset. I could potentially die or be seriously injured where I'm out of the fight in one punch. So that's the trade-off for Shinra's massive power boost. We have the conditions. We have the heroic condition. We have the, the devil condition where it boosts the heat of his flames. We have the restriction that he can only use devil's footprint in his feet. So he can't protect himself with flames on his upper body. That, that's the trade-off. You, are, you, are you with me guys this is making sense so yeah that's his drawback i think that's a pretty good foundation so far we got the protection of his soles of his feet with ko we have the protection of his legs and stuff with ryu just applications of gyo and ren and ten nothing crazy all things that are done look it up and we got conditions that boost the amount of aura the output we have another condition that boosts the heat of the flames which is very important because it's a fire-based ability, and we have restrictions that amplify the Hatsu, because 
you need to amplify your abilities. Also, you could take the, the basic route where Shinra explains how his Nin ability works and that boosts it because people like Hisoka and do that. I don't know if that's everybody, if that applies to every Hatsu or if you explain it, it amplifies it. But that is a thing in Hunter that, that people use, that Hunter Hunter that people that use. So yeah, if he goes, hey, Devil's Footprint, I'm allowed to increase or i can create flames from the bottom of my feet but only the bottom of my feet everywhere else i'm restricted from using aura or my ability so i cannot protect the, my whole body with these flames i can only emit them from the bottom of my feet and then him explaining that would psh, his aura went up again like so in in hunter hunter it's important to like finish fights fast because if you let someone get into their groove and start explaining their ability you're dead so we can add that to shinra's ability as well i think that's good let me know your thoughts on this so yeah you got devil's footprint as his ability he can emit flames through being a transmuter we have our conditions we have our restrictions and we have our applications of nin to protect the rest of his body being ko and ryu i think that's everything what do you guys think let me know in the comments if this makes sense if i missed anything because i i just was yapping right now this is just a yap session and i thought it would be interesting to go over so yeah let me know also if you made it all the way to the end of the video leave a like comment subscribe and comment if you want to see another ability from any other anime turned into a nin ability i can do that so drop in the comments if you want to see something else and i will get that out for you so i will catch you guys in the next one peace